There isn't a soul in the Silicon Valley who hasn't faced a choice between creativity and money. And there isn't an inventor in the history of the world who represents that choice better than Nikola Tesla. This project will put a statue of Tesla at this building, steps away from California Avenue in Palo Alto, in the heart of the Silicon Valley. I started my own interest in Tesla about four years ago when I saw a Google Doodle. I became fascinated by the underappreciation of this person. Tesla was one of the most well-known inventors of his time, and he emphasized the creativity of his inventions over their application to make money. To this day, we rely on Tesla's inventions from alternating current. And he predicted 100 years ago we'd all be carrying smartphones in our pockets and that wireless on trains was imminent. Someone needs to let Caltrain know. Tesla was a visionary, and he sought to push beyond the profits of wire to make energy and information freely available around the world. About two years ago, I was walking out of the building where I worked, and I noticed this amazing painting portraying some of Silicon Valley's greatest inventors. I learned the painting was commissioned by the landlord of the building, 91-year-old Harold Hobach, a patent lawyer for 50 years who started his engineering career at a Tesla-friendly company. So I ended up going to work at Westinghouse, who I'd interviewed before. Two months ago, I went to see Harold to ask if I could put a statue of Tesla on his property. Not only did he say yes, that same day he asked me to visit an artist named Terry Geyer, who just so happened to have his studio at a technology park named for Tesla's greatest rival. But Terry was very cool, excited about the project, and he even had a book about Tesla sitting on his desk. Well, the man was an utter genius. He would always work things out mathematically, and uh, he could calculate these things and see them prior to executing them. Within a week, Terry had us visiting Artworks Foundry in Berkeley. Doing the lost wax, ceramic shell, bronze casting method, which is the best for capturing details and textures. The artisans are, are fabulous. The way they can do all those processes and, and, and give you basically a version of, of your artwork. The Silicon Valley is often talked about as being creative, and it is. But I've spent the last 12 years raising money and worrying about quarterly sales numbers. This was creativity in its purest form. Terry has finished the initial model of the statue, and we are asking for your help to raise the money to put a life-size version of Tesla in the Silicon Valley.